This is the NASA Astronomical Station and we are in the process of restoring it. Um, it's a part of Observatory Park. It used to be owned by the Case Western Reserve University from 1957 it was built and uh, shut down in 2008. At that time it was sold to the Park District and became a part of Observatory Park. But this uh, NASA station houses an awesome telescope when it's fully restored. In fact, we have a, a, an expert fixing that scope right now. And um, when it's restored, it will be the largest public viewing telescope in the state of Ohio. We're about 30 miles east of Cleveland and uh, the light pollution, you know, when you get around a major city, I grew up in South Euclid, you know, it's pretty light polluted there. So out here in the country, there's still a lot of amazing nighttime sky. In fact, Observatory Park is uh, a silver tier dark sky international park, which is unique. I, th I think it's one of only it might be the only one in Ohio. It's very, very unusual. So we have great skies and a great scope to be able to check out those skies. All right, these are the restored living quarters for the NASA Astronomical Station. We have a, a retro furniture over here. We have little Peter over there enjoying a, a video from the 1950s, 60s on uh, astronomy on our retro TV. Over here, this exhibit will highlight it, have, have this map of the state of Ohio up here, and we're going to be highlighting different observatories and astronomy groups throughout o Ohio, which will be featured um, on this iPad here, too. Uh, the people, when they were working here, they did live here, so these are all the old bedrooms, which have uh, been, been restored. We also have exhibits there highlighting achievements in astronomy in northeastern Ohio, uh, the history of the, the NASA observatory. Also, we have items on loan from NASA, N-A-S-A. Uh, really cool to check out in there as well. So lots of hands-on astronomy uh, information for people to appreciate and enjoy in there. It'll be open on select nights um, because it is a part of the larger observatory park. So we have telescope, we have another telescope at the far end of this, uh, the park. We will be having select nights here. We'll also have opportunities for school kids to come out here. We want kids to get out here and get excited about astronomy. So uh, teachers can schedule programs here as well. The night sky is such a fragile natural resource and um, a lot of people don't realize that it's, it's, it, it is a natural resource that we have to protect. So, you know, we want to get people excited about, wow, I want to I wanna keep this sky the way it is. So maybe, you know, inspire people, you know, things that they might be able to do in order to, to um, preserve our fragile nighttime sky. Oh, we have a big party on August 19th from 6 to 11 p.m. Uh, it'll be on the whole campus here at Observatory Park. We'll have um, telescope viewing through the big scope, plus we'll have other scopes out on both parts of the Observatory Park. We'll have planetarium shows, lolly the trolley tours, uh, getting people from one end of the, the campus to the other. Um, we'll be showing the movie WALL-E. I guess it's pretty popular, I don't know. At dark, um, we'll have food, make it, take it crafts. The Geauga Public Library will be here as well. So lots of fun activities for the whole family. This park is one of our largest parks, somewhere about a thousand acres. So we have a planetarium. We have two giant telescopes. We have a weather trail. Um, we have a planetary trail that people can go on. Also, we have trails that go out through the woodlands. Lots of area for people to explore, not only the heavens above, but the earth below us.